I don't think he is either, but uh, Babcock has to be happy that Marner was on the score sheet with his third goal of the season. Mike Babcock joins us now here on Raw. Mike Richards, Mike, uh, coach, I should say. I know I can't call you Mike. I'm sorry. Uh, Mitch Marner with uh, with a pretty special night on a pretty good day. Well, I think that uh, if you're going to talk about uh, you know the win yesterday, Dave, you can, you got to talk about the whole group. I mean, Marnie had a good game, and uh, I understand why. He, he had a lot of his uh, schoolmates there. You know, he's a young kid, and uh, I'm sure at recess time, uh, some of his buddies uh, come out and seen him play, and so he, he gets all excited, and he puts the puck in the net, but that's what you do when you're a professional, Dave. That's what you do, and uh, there's a lot of guys that uh, went into that win yesterday. Just wasn't Marnie. It just wasn't Marnie, and uh, I think uh, the team, uh, yeah, you know, we've got young players, and they've got young players, and uh, I think it'll come out uh, in the wash. When you look at Mitch Marner's resume and and having drafted the kid out of uh, out of uh, nursery school, I mean he's a well, young he's gonna, a young kid. I mean I was going to say London go, Knights. I but... go up to him and say, "Baby, baby, baby, gonna cry, baby, because you can't score, baby." And so he took that uh, the right way, and he plays the right way, and that's why he scored the goal yesterday. Coach was uh, three o'clock tough for Mitch Marner back in the day. Well, you know, the three o'clock is uh, you know. <laughs> It, you know, if you can get him before the you know, bedtime's early. So okay. we play some of those late games in the West Coast, and he's he's all crying, and he's always looking for his blankie, and I'm like, oh, you baby, baby. You know, so I said, just shut up and just, you know, fucking play and stuff like that. And yeah. so he gets out. He's a pro, so that's what he done. Fred Anderson saying that we were debating a couple minutes before we grabbed you well, on the just, air. Let me just... Uh, Freddie is uh, has really come into his own. He's in the zone, and I got to tell you, that's probably, you know, I've had a lot of goalies, uh, a lot of goalies even go back to Lethbridge. Uh, uh, I think they were called the Leghorns, the Foghorns, something like that. Yeah, uh, uh, Broncos. And uh, I think that's one of the best. <laughs> it's one of the best saves I've ever seen. Uh, it, it might be the, the greatest save in the century. Final it's, question: yeah. uh, How many how many kids does Patrick Marlowe actually have? I think he's got seventeen. Seventeen. You know, well, he's got the French name and the Catholic, so. They use the rhythm method, and I, by the looks of uh, uh, Patty, his rhythm's pretty good because he's, he's, he's gone into the end zone quite a few times, and they had the nice dinner. Did you see that, the dinner with the kids and all that yesterday? It was nice. Yeah, it was really nice. We're going to get to that in a second. Good luck in Columbus tonight. It's a back-to-back game against a pretty good Blue Jacket team, and uh, your old friend John Tortorella. He's a bit of a dick. You know, he's disrespectful, and I'd like to kick him in the nuts, but aside from that, we'll keep it on the ice. we got good players. Thank you so much. That's uh, head coach Mike Babcock joining us uh at least once a week here on rawmikeridges.com, yeah. and that's the Maple Leafs in action on a back-to-back game. Had a little bit of a rest just because of that 2 o'clock start. They were in Columbus last night, and uh, we'll play on Sportsnet at 7.30 this evening. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. 